So we always start these virtual meetups with a tech talk, and um, this one I think is so cool. You guys are really going to enjoy hearing about this. What back in I think it was 2017, we did a meetup at um, Georgia Tech, and we met Bill. Bill. Wilkins from Puntivo. He hosted RT3. We toured the 3D lab. And Bill's company is, um, and Bill, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, is like in an incubator there for tech startups. And Steve Little was, from Capos Roofing and Waterproofing was at that meetup. And when he saw what Bill was doing, Steve had this vision of, oh my gosh, this could be game changing for me if I could use this technology to remotely inspect roofs. And so um, Daryl Kratzer from National Roofing Partners and Bill got together and worked on this solution that was introduced at IRE this year and is about to roll out nationally. Um, and I think that it, we've talked about it at our contractor panels and we've written about it, but n most of our members haven't seen the panel in action. So I asked um, Bill and Steve and Daryl, if they would share with RT3 exactly what this solution is and, and the story of how it came to be. So Bill and Daryl, if you guys can unmute, and uh, if, do you, if you need to share your screens, um, I think you have the ability to do that. Okay. Uh, let's see, you may have to hand off sharing. Yeah, I'm gonna stop sharing mine, let's see. Hmm. Oh, no, Michael, Frank, you something else. Yeah, share. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Steve, can you share yours now? Yep. Okay. Great. Very impressive, Karen. This is Daryl Kratzer, and we were really... Thank you for having us on and uh, have a little chit chat about what we've got going on with the, what I believe a game changer in our AI drone inspection program. Uh, Bill and I've been going at it for, gosh, Bill, it's been almost 15 months now. I know you guys just started it under Steve's leadership, but when I came on board in January of 19 and saw what was going on here, then Bill and I started working together. So we're excited to show you where we're at. We think we've got a, a commercialized product for delivery. In fact, we've probably already done in excess of 50 of them so far, and the results, again, I think are just game-changing. So we're going to give you a little preview of it, and at the end, if anyone wants a live demo, then uh, obviously give us a call, and we'll do it offline and show you some of the uh, ones that we've already done and what the capabilities are of the program. So, Bill, go ahead. Let's go to the next slide. <clears throat> so we, we fully launched a, a turnkey contactless roof assessment program. And for, and for those of you, I've been in roofing 35 years. I had to have Bill and his team put together a, a, a key glossary for terms that are utilized, like spatial IQ, which I had no clue what it was. Uh, but in essence, uh, Bill, Bill will answer those technical questions. I know roofing, Bill knows the technical aspect of this technology. But what does it mean when we say it's turnkey? Well, it can virtually do a visual clarity on all of the assets on your rooftop from measuring it within less than a 0.5% accuracy to uh, identifying all the projections on the roof to identifying the conditions, i.e. blisters, ridging. Uh, it actually puts all of the penetrations exactly on the spot on the roof. And it's just a really, really exciting program. So Bill, if you go to the next slide, um, just to walk you through what the intelligence means. I mean, in, in essence, it's using high resolution imagery of roofs, buildings, and surroundings that helps easily monitor and, and in essence gives you a full blown picture of your facility. It, it combines the AI machine learning uh, with computer vision and all the advanced analytics to extract the location, the measurements, and all the understanding about the physical objects with the highest level of accuracy. Um, some of the benefits we believe that are gonna come out of it is liability reduction. Uh, obviously, the roof condition assessments, customers always want to know what their inventory is and then help them to financially project out a five or a 10 year budget plan. Let's go to the next one, please. It's very simple. You enter the address into the uh, system, the drone pilot network, which uh, Pontivo has developed and partnered with, has got over 15,000 
uh, AA uh, certified pilots in all 50 states. So the pilot flies it, gets the information back to Pontivo that feeds it through their magic machine. And in essence, we get the results that come out. Uh, very complete assessment. And then the people in the office are to go in to either verify, confirm, or correct any AI findings. Uh, as we continue to work these things, we found the more we do, the better the uh, intelligence is. Uh, in lots of cases now, we're seeing an upward of 95% confidence that what we are seeing as a condition is indeed that condition, and it'll just get better and better as we continue to move forward. Next slide, please. <clears throat> we'll give you a case study of 3D AI and the 2D application. I mean, the problem that you guys have is a roof assessment is a multi-day process, especially when you've got a large campus. An example, we had a school district down in San Antonio that had 27 campuses, and they wanted to get the uh, inventory of what they had and the conditions so that they could indeed uh, get something done before uh, everything was set up before the school was out. Now, obviously, schools are out now, but at that time, we were able to do this in less than 21 days where it would have probably been a two-month process that you had to do it manually. So we've got the manned aerial, the drone, and the mobile industry. The assessments, when you do it by foot, I mean, they're inconsistent and hard to track over the time, where the AI automation assesses the roof's health, it measures the inventory, and it gives you full aspects of, of clear photographs so that you can go back and refer to it any time. You all of them, we talk about it all the time, the industry's facing a workforce crisis. Well, this intuitive visualization of a roof assessment 2D with 3D background can help you to do more work with less people. And we continually talk, and that's what RT3 is about, is we've got to animate to survive. This shows greater than an 80% in time savings to go out and do a roof assessment. Next slide, please. So the AI measurements, it's an automatic edge and corner identification. It gives you the elevation, the slope calculation through the 3D. It's got an automatic wireframe generation that in essence gives you all of the damage assessment uh, through automatic deficiency detection. And, and it, like I said earlier, the more we use it, the more the knowledge becomes more accurate. The AI inventory of all the HVACs, vents, drains, uh, air conditioners that are on, on curbs or if they're on uh, pallets, it just it identifies all of that and also identifies the material type. <clears throat> Subsequently, the AI change detection is a subsequent assessments that are super efficient. And we believe the overall health grading of this is, is predictive of what roofs, how they fell, when they fell. Next slide, please. We've got a couple little video and this would be something that we would show you if you wanted to see a demo. This is a real live actual project. So I'll just let this walk out. You can see it once it, once the, uh, the pilots feed the photos back into Pontivo, the secret sauce is in their technical capabilities. So as you can see, you can zoom in, the yellow areas signify deficiencies, and you can zoom in and get real clarity. So if you have a question about what is that, then you can actually go to it and really zoom in on it to be able to look at it. Our estimators has taken them about 30 minutes to an hour once this is flown to go in and, and, and either accept or reclassify all of the AI um, uh, readings. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty damn accurate. The list of how many HVACs on curb, exhaust curbs, it gives you the lineal footage of them, it tells how many they are, and shows you exactly where they are on the roof. Yeah, this, this kind of shows some of the stuff going on in the background. So what you see is a 3D AI system that's being trained in 3D, whether it's uh, you know the surface planes on the roof or objects that we detect. Uh, ultimately, we wanted to, to present the application as kind of a 2D interface to make it very simple. But just understanding that you can, in the background, we have tools that allow us to train this system using point clouds and images themselves, which gives you a lot higher accuracy. So ultimately, that's what we call spatial IQ and extracting the stuff in real time. And when you see kind of this view here, the facility management application, 
what's happening is it's flattening it down to make it very easy to move around and confirm stuff and see stuff and get the data that you want. And this is just a kind of a snapshot. There's a lot of other features about automatic report generation and all that that help reduce the time, but just wanted to give you a snapshot of what the facility management portal looks like. Yeah, Bill, and there's a, there's a feature on here where you can, you can actually go in and download the drawing into a, a PDF or into AutoCAD. And in fact, this particular school district in uh, San Antonio, we printed those off as we went up on the roof to do the core cuts. Because unfortunately, we hadn't figured out how to do a core cut. Bill keeps telling me he's going to, and I can't wait to see that. But you still got to go up and take cores to figure out what you've got there before you can make real accurate recommendations. So just to kind of transition here a little bit, that last pro uh, project that you saw, all the AI results were fully confirmed. But to look at a different project to understand how that flow kind of works, and our 3D AI system ultimately presents the facility management application with all of the roof objects and the competence levels of the AI, and then the analysis and damage detection of the AI and kind of feeds that into this facility management application. So in this one, it's like a project that you would get. You can go through and click on any of the AI results, understand the confidence levels that actually were resulting from being fed from spatial IQ. You can uh, go through and do an inspection on all those and you can also go through and accept or ignore those and those become deficiencies when you do that. And that deficiency list is ultimately that feeds into the reports. So it, it, it gives you the ability not only to let AI assist in the process, but you can also add manual deficiencies and manual objects too in the process. Maybe AI did not detect that for some reason, but ultimately it, it gets smarter as every time you accept something, Spatial IQ recognizes that uh, acceptance and gets smarter. And if you ignore something, it also takes that information and on the next time, it's less confident in that respect. So it's an AI assisted approach to help speed up the process, ultimately to get through and do the contactless kind of assessments on the roof to help build out different kind of things that you need like site plans and reports and so forth. So that's, that's the meat of the presentation. It's going to open it up for uh, questions. I have a question. Are you guys doing anything in the UK? Uh, yes, we are yeah. doing stuff in the UK with uh, uh, a drone company out there. Um, basically, uh, measurements of roofs, commercial and, and residential. And just curious, why do you ask? <clears throat> um, I ask because we had a, a group of salesmen and just recently, um, we were concerned about employees um, flying jobs themselves. So we've kind of discouraged that. Mm -hmm. So we've been in discussions with um, a couple companies in the UK to provide those services for our UK division. Mm -hmm. But if there's somebody that you're working with in your technology, that's something I'd like to present to our, our uh, leadership team in the UK. Yeah, so Fairfleet, do they, are they on your roadmap? Fair Excuse Fleet? me? Have you heard of Fairfleet? No, I have not, no. They're a partner, they're a pretty big partner. They fly all over the world and capture, you know, they, their bread and butter is essentially figuring out all the drone regulations. I think they fly in like 52 different countries. Okay. They, uh, they're very strong in the UK, so. Very good, very good. Job. Well, can I can that, that, go ahead? Is that Bruce? I just yeah. want, is Bruce, is that from Garland? I'm sorry. Hi, yeah. I was trying to figure out who was asking the question. That's all. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mine says BM. Yeah, right. Okay. My bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Bruce Emmerich, uh, Garland Company. So it's our Garland uh, UK. Uh, is where this just in the last like two weeks this came up so this is kind of apropos here yeah. so if i can connect off. with you off you know afterwards that'd be great absolutely other questions what does it cost bill there you want to hand, handle that one 
<clears throat> yeah, the cost uh, is $999 for 50,000 square feet. And then uh, any excess of 50,000 square feet is priced at $18 and 75 cents per 5,000 additional square feet. Um, Daryl, what, what's the feedback been from customers? Uh, Karen, it's been unbelievable. I've, you know, with the, with everybody being shut down, I've, I, I, I probably have had 12 demos and in every case, at least one job was closed out of it because they want to see what it looks like. So we just wrapped up the 27 schools down in the San Antonio area and the guy went out and did all the core extractions for us and we're feeding it back in and it is just amazing the accuracy. Um, and it's, you know, it's got that pizzazz feature to it as well too. Uh, so it's just, uh, it's cloud-based. Cool. Uh, if you want hard copies, you can do copies, but uh, the feedback that we have been, uh, it, I, I've been overwhelmed with the feedback that we've had. Great. Anybody Karen, have any other questions? Yeah, Karen, also just to follow up on what uh, Daryl said, um, it's, this is, we have, we've been selling this uh, for a few months now, now that we have a deliverable. It's not only customer feedback, but it's our partner feedback. Our partner feedback has been great. The, the partners are ordering this service. Um, NRP and Pointivo have, have really kind of joint ventured in, in delivering this product out to companies around the country. And the feedback from the partners have been absolutely outstanding. Um, I don't think we've had one partner that has just done one. Uh, once they see it, <coughs> the savings of manpower um the, the the investment is is worth every cent uh the time savings uh tracy at capo said that he's never he would never do another walk of a big facility ever again now knowing that this is available just just to save the time and effort of the manpower um a lot of feedback I guess my question, uh, Daryl or, or Bill, uh, how would those on the call order one of these or, or do a demo or, or get more information about it? Well, that's the reason my name and email address and phone number is right there on that slide. All you got to do is pick up the phone, give me a call. We'll set up a, a, a Zoom meeting and we'll just walk you through some real life examples of projects that we've completed and what the capabilities are. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Rodney. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Bill. Um, Bill, if you can turn off your screen share, then I think I can take it back. Okay. I just have one question. This is Mike Davis. Um, how's your guys' support? I, maybe I missed it, but how's your guys' support for small metro areas? Like I'm in Reno Sparks area, uh, northern Nevada. There's only, you know, less than a million people in our, or even rural areas. There's a lot of huge buildings that are being built out in rural, rural areas, like Tesla, for example. Do you guys have support for those types of those types of you know far-flung buildings? And there, yeah. you want to answer that, or you want me to answer? Um, you you know the drone network better than I do. You want yeah, to yeah. So that. so like I said, Dell said was you know our. Uh, Pilot Network is the largest drone service provider in the United States with some coverage in Canada. And the way it works is, you know, they have 15,000 plus pilots. They're the top guys in the industry. And when you have addresses that you need to get flown, ultimately we go through a, you know, a vetting process on that because you know there's air, you might know there's airspace restrictions. Uh, that uh, sometimes prevents you from flying. But the FAA has done an excellent job of creating the Lance program, which essentially allows you, they, they've, they've sectioned off the whole United States in these zones. And basically most of the zones, maybe 80, 90% are free fly areas. But the other percent you have to go through and look at Lance. And, and that's what our drone service provider does. And typically they have different ceilings, like 100, 200, 400 feet. And, you know, if it's within Lance, you can get automatic approval to fly that. Every once in a while, we come into scenarios where, you know, Lance doesn't approve it. And what we do is our pilot network goes out and sees within that area, like San Antonio, we flew, you know, a big bunch of, uh, of 
of recent flights. And I think uh, one, maybe two of those were in that waiver zone, but we found a pilot, a couple pilots actually that already had pre waivers to fly in that area. So we just tagged them to go out and capture the data. So it depends, you know, you'd have to give us some addresses. We could go through and validate yep. that and, you know, but there is a lot of places we can fly and it's and Lance is just getting better and better and more approvals are happening every day. So we definitely see that it's supporting the expansion and scalability of this product. Yeah, just to add a little bit onto that, I think there's no I, geographical constraints other than those, those little areas you need uh, waivers. We've also found this as a huge benefit from uh, companies having to drive two or three hours in a remote area to, to get a roof inspection done and and which you know is is uh, a huge opportunity there from a time saving standpoint that was going to be a, a question that I was going to ask Rodney uh, what what is the the I get that it sending a, a guy out to do the drone is faster in terms of the capture but like how long does it take? start to finish, you know, from the time I punch an address into the, into the app to the time I get my first pass report out of the AI, like what's that, what's that interval on a regular basis? Yeah. So typically, you know, in, in the world of services, you work with uh, SLAs and SLAs are different than the typical turnaround times. Um, you know, our SLAs for the drone pilot network are essentially 96 hours It's 72 hours per pilot on site to fly. 24 hours to upload data. And typically, you know, depending on our queue depth and so forth, it can be anywhere from three to five days on our side. Uh, the, the best times we've ever delivered on projects are from start to when orders placed to when deliverables are back to customers 42 hours. So less than two days. And we're typically going to deliver as fast as we can because we want to get it out of the queue. But you know, ultimately, I'm just giving you the SLA perspective of that, the guaranteed times. So, does that make sense? How do, how does that compare for somebody trying to like? How does it compare with like what's happening now, like status quo? Is it faster still, or is there like? I'm trying to. I'm excited about this, but I, I'm trying to understand like its impact on. You know, yeah, why so would somebody do this versus not versus doing it themselves? Yeah, Tom, I, I will tell you that uh, Daryl and I sat on a call last week with, uh, I believe the customer was T-Mobile, Verizon, somebody like that, um, telecom companies. And they had 500 buildings in San Diego that they had hired a consultant to come out and do these ins uh, do roof inspections on. In three months, uh, the consultant had turned around seven buildings. Wow. Okay. We told, him, we told him that in three months we could do all 500 buildings. Um, so, you know, a typical, you know, what we see in the business day to day is 10 to 14 day turnaround and build for roof inspections, but it all depends on how, you know, what, what type of volume you're doing. Right. So everybody's going to be a little bit different, mm -hmm. uh, but in your major metropolitan areas around the country, we're seeing 10 to 14 day turnarounds. We can turn them around most of the time within five days, five to seven. Cool. And just so just so you know, the example, the San Antonio 27 campuses, uh, it's going to be 14 days from the time we placed the order until it was everything was uploaded, and now we're we're starting to do the acceptance of the AI results. And, and so, bu yeah, building size does play into that. Larger the building, the more images that are captured, the a little bit longer on processing time. So ultimately, you know, we're giving you a window of 10 to 14 so, so you can reliably plan on your side. But, you know, if we can deliver it quicker, we're going to. So we're, and we're working with our drone uh, service provider to make that a process as efficient as, as possible, and tying our system to theirs. Bill, it's cool. Joanne. Mm -hmm. Congrats on the funding, by the way. You. Um, can you do building envelope? Can you, can you do vertical surfaces? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, that is on our pipeline. We have done those. Um, you know, this, this use case study actually did about 400 walls when we did it. Um, we're going to go into details on that, but here, here's the challenge on walls. And, and, and remember, this is a facility management application. We see to eventually expand this, not just to walls, but also the parking lots and the whole facility. 
itself. Um, the challenge right now in the industry is a lot of the uh, flight, we'll call autonomous flight softwares are 2D. Okay, there's a couple companies working on 3D flight planning. And when you have 3D flight planning, that means you can fly up and down and scan the wall very well. to the level like you can scan the roof today. Um, now we've worked with those companies um, on the 3D flight planning and we have shown and have demos that we can do it. But ultimately we wanted to get the roofing product out first and then probably might go to the parking lot because the parking lot is a flat 2D surface and, and kind of fits with this. And then we'll, then we'll tackle the walls and have a product launch on that. But we have done it. We fly like 20 feet away from the wall, kind of go up and down in a vertical pattern, capture it, and it looks really cool. So, um, so it should be coming out soon, maybe in the next six months. Cool, thank you. All right, last call, any questions? 